And uh, I, I welcome back to both of you there uh, as we uh, rejoin Sir Michael Carbonaro, who hasn't actually been on the telly for best part of two years. Uh, I imagine that's something to do uh, with the the pandemic. I'm saying not been on the telly. He's not recorded anything new, uh, as I imagine wearing a mask. Uh, well, everyone wearing a mask would probably hinder the uh, the show, wouldn't it, really? Let's face it. So anyway, here we are. Uh, and as you can see in front of us, we've got a list of uh, drinks available uh, for today's specials. And uh, there is a clear, uh, I think that's a Long Island iced tea. I don't know what that says. This is a margarita. That's something else. A melon ball. Could be a melon ball. Um, I don't know what that says. Uh, we do get a clearer shot of it later on, but we're, we're at the beginning. Anyway, this is the trick. Now, your job, ladies and gentlemen, this is your job uh, to try and spot <clears throat> how our friend Michael Carbonaro is about to do uh, the trick. We'll watch the trick together, and then we'll see if we can figure it out. It's, it's, it's nice and easy, this, hopefully, to get us back into the groove of explaining, or, as some people would say, ruining... Magic. I get you. Margarita. You want to have margarita? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Margarita coming up. And we make that with the uh, liquor light. You ever have a liquor light drink? Uh uh, what's that? Oh, that's what we're doing here. But this is one of the first bars in Atlanta that's going to be using the liquor light. It's uh, this little machine right here. And you type in margarita. Eight, eight, three, one, two. Goes there. I'll get you some ice. What is, what is this? That's just water. Okay. Yep. And then, there we go. And margarita. What? Yeah. There you go. All the bars are going to be using them now because they say they make the perfect pour. Because there's no way even the best bartender is going to... Oh, it was a Greyhound. And a screwdriver. Uh... And uh, Jack and Coke, Jack Daniels there probably. Uh, so just so you know, there were the missing items <coughs> of the menu. Um, so how do you think it was done? Well, I think I know how it's done. You can pop your answer in the comments if you want before we uh, reveal. I don't know. People do that, don't they? In some videos, they say, why don't you put your pause the video, put your answer in the comments, uh, and... And then resume the video and find out if you were right. Sounds a bit daft to me. That you'd probably watch the video and then put the comments in, wouldn't you? Really? And then that way you can appear to have the same answer. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. So here are the few options that you may well think uh, our friend is doing. Maybe, maybe this here, this innocent bottle of water, isn't really a bottle of water at all. And maybe it's a margarita, but with all the colour sort of, you know, removed. And then when it's poured into the glass of ice, perhaps there's something in there that can re-trigger the, uh, the colour and perhaps that's how that's done. Yeah, so it could be, could be, could be. Maybe, though, when he's pouring the drink in uh, into this vessel, you know, he's doing it in a kind of peculiar way and maybe it's a special uh, vessel in which perhaps it's got a compartment and you can just pour water in and then when you pour it back out, you know, it, it just pours whatever else was in there and... And so on, but but uh, I don't think that's it either. In fact, uh, let's rewind it, and we'll see exactly, yeah, exactly when the magic trick is done. That's not it; it's already been done there. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Uh, in fact, let's just go a couple of seconds before. Okay, now uh, I'm going to turn the sound down. You can see me doing that, and I'm going to press play again by using my space bar. Uh, this time, look, he's pouring it in. Now he does pour it in in a peculiar. In a kind of typical magician way, doesn't he? You know, you know. But, but regardless, this isn't that. That definitely isn't where the trick is happening. Uh, but watch there. Now the trick is actually happening. Yes, the magic trick is taking place right now. Uh, for all of those of you, all of those. I don't know. Does that make sense? All of those. All of those of you. Hmm. Anyway, for everyone that uh, is curious, he's reaching down to grab the ultraviolet ta gizmo that's going to convert our water into wine, well, into a margarita. But the question really should be, 
where the hell is our margarita? And that's right. He's What he's done there is he's used his left arm, which he was holding the margarita mixer thing with. Uh, and he's obviously now put that entirely underneath the table, allowing him to exchange it with no doubt the person that's underneath the table uh, who has a selection of drinks available. Uh, and they've just swapped it over. And there you go. That's an easy trick. So let's just rewind it. Let's rewind it. Uh, and watch it with the sound off so that we don't get distracted by the gorgeous Michael Carbonaro telling us whatever he's telling us. So here we go. Watch this cup. Watch. Wait, I'm put, using my finger there. Watch this cup. Get ready. Go. Okay, there it is. Now it's gone down underneath the table and it's back. And obviously our friend here, who happens to be called Michael, is looking at Michael and is uh, is thinking, well, this this is, you know, what's going on? And then he just checks that it's water. Uh, before being convinced that uh, some kind of tomfoolery has indeed happened. And there it is. So there you go, that's my theory. Uh, I think it's a pretty good one. What do you think? Uh, you can put your answer in the comments, uh, if you like. Uh, should we do another one? What do you think? Oh, go on, let's do another one. Okay, so here we are with the second trick now uh, in the Carbonara Effect Explained. The amazing... A uh, new series of, of Carbonaro tricks explained. A series of possibly maybe three, maybe four episodes. We don't know. We don't know. But anyway, here we are. And he is about to do the amazing self-tying shoelace trick. Uh, let's watch it. it. As long as you stay in motion, like if you're running or something and you're jogging, they, they remember how to... Be and there it is. Did you see that? Yeah, his laces were untied. He just shook his leg uh, and they magically tied. I do... Well, it, 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 surely... It must be some kind of witchery. Yes, people say that still. I don't know why. Anyway, here we go. Let's watch it again. See if you can figure it out. Go. Stay in motion, like if you're running or something and you're jogging. They they remember. There. Okay. Anyone? No. Again, if you want, you can pause this and pop your rare uh, your theory in the in the old comments box below. Or if not, you could just continue to watch, and I once again will ruin a perfectly good magic trick so i've got my own theory i think it's pretty simple really if you think about it let's just try and get a better freeze frame there it is see these laces here that are now dangling down yeah see these laces they're dangling down and they're clearly untied but in actual fact what i think you'll find is this is probably just one ginormous lace so anyway it'll go all the way up his trouser leg right there, uh, all the way up uh, and the mechanism for this will be something whereby when you sort of pull on it a little pull will give a, a big pull if you like so maybe there's some kind of an elastic uh, don't know elastic thing at the top i mean who knows it doesn't really matter these laces are going to go all the way up the trouser leg or at least at least to about here yeah and then underneath this bit here is going to be our tied up shoelaces if you like they've been tucked up. So what we've really got here are two sets of laces in one shoe. Let's watch the trick again with that in mind. Go! And like if you're running or something and you're jogging, they, they remember. And there you go, you see. And in fact, his trouser leg there has risen to a level that would accommodate the rising of a trouser leg. Whatever. Anyway, there you go. Uh, incidentally, you just do the trick. If you watch this, uh, you know, I'll leave a link in the old description. If you watch the full trick there, you'll also see that he does the same trick with this. But first he unties it, and then he does the trick. So, mm -hmm. so my theory there is that these, uh, this lace, if you like, is is the lace that we saw before. You know, the one that was untied. However, with those laces that were untied, you could just sort of loop it around uh, the shoelace, say, and then make it look like it was a tied shoelace. And then when you undo the tied shoelace, a relatively easy task to do, you could then pull the untied shoelace up the trouser leg to reveal the second tied shoelace that is indeed tucked underneath the trouser leg. What an awfully complicated thing to say. Anyway, that's it for this particular video. I do hope you enjoyed it and join me on the next one how to be tied. Sorry, wrong button.